Welcome guys, this is the, uh, I guess an update again on the crossband repeater controller and the project in general. Uh, I got the, today I spent today installing the DTMF controller in the case here. As you can see, I ran 12 volts here. Uh, that's your audio input here. This audio is going to come from a receiver such as a scanner. That you can be just listening to a different type of different band or different frequency than what the crossband repeater is going to be transmitting on. This is going to receive the DTMF sequence from a handheld that controls each individual relay. The relays are four channels one, two, three, and four. And these four relays correspond to four jacks here. Uh, relay 1, Relay 2, Relay 3, and Relay 4. Four relays um, outputs right here. They're going to be wired into the uh, into the control box. Actual radio control box. Where they're going to be wired into. They're going to uh, break four different circuits. That's the plan with that. Uh, so just a little uh, recap basically. We have the ID module here. Uh, we have three relays here. Um, these control, I really control, they control the PTT and audio. These PTT to radios. Uh, you got your audio control board over here. Uh, DTMF control here. Um, voltage <coughs> regulator here on the strip. Got a fuse here, a little one amp fuse. There's the record switch here, um, timer here, then we got uh, all the jacks on the back. Basically we've got uh, radio 1, radio 2, uh, there's audio disconnect when the ID is sent. You got a jack here which is power input, uh, of course relay outputs, so yeah. The speaker here, I still never wired that into anything yet. <laughs> Still pondering I'm going to bother with that. But I'm going to wire, this, uh, wire these wires here into the control box there now. And uh, yeah, then we're good to go. This thing is uh, completely legal and ready to go in there. But uh, anyways, just want to give you a little quick um, heads up on, on the system. A little update. And so far it's working well, that could be awesome. I haven't, haven't, haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Gonna do that shortly though. Um, so the, the only uh, part of this board, this particular uh, module I didn't like, is the holes that they got for the screws for this thing are very close to the edge as well as um, other components on the board. They might want, if they're watching, they might want to take note <clears throat> that they should build this board a little bit bigger. To, uh, you know, in order to put your screws in here properly because um, what I had to do here as you can see the screw comes in pretty close to the audio input so I had to use a fiber a little fiber washer right here so the screw wouldn't touch the contacts as well as I had to put another one here um, underneath on the standoffs I'm using the uh, Basically insulating material between the standoffs and the bottom of the board. You can see it there. All four legs uh, have that. So the board is 100% isolated from the main body of the case. There's no short whatsoever going on here. So anyways, that is the controller. Um, and I'm hoping you're enjoying this. I know a few people out there are, uh, are quite interested in the controller. Um, if anybody got any suggestions or ideas that we can, that I can probably add to this, or you know, um, ideas that maybe we can design, get a couple of us together and design a, another controller, um, <clears throat> it'd be pretty cool. Uh, if I had to rebuild this thing again, would I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, quite complicated to say the least. But, uh, yeah. 
It's a complicated little gizmo. You got to keep your ducks in a row. You got to know where where your engine routes and what's doing what and this and that and the other things. So there's a lot going on in here. A lot going on. But uh, you know, like I say, this thing is uh, got the timer. The timer trips your um, it trips the uh, the ID module right here. It also trips three relays to trip to key two radios, send audio through. So it does a lot of different things. But other than that, I think it's I think it's coming along pretty good. Anyway guys, again, if you got any suggestions, ideas that we can that I can utilize or you know install in this, make this a little bit better, let me know. In the comments below. I'd like to like to see, I'd like to hear what you got to say about this uh, this project. I think it's a pretty, pretty dandy little project. Anyways, all the best, 7-3, and 3